first example, they give us this equation of our function. And what we're trying to figure out is, does the graph go up to the right, down to the right, up to the left, or down to the left? Well, the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to zero in on this highest degree term of the polynomial. That's the one with the highest power, the highest exponent here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look at the leading coefficient. So you can see the leading coefficient is negative. And what that tells us is about the right end behavior. So that means that if it's negative, as x gets larger and larger, x is going to go down towards negative infinity. Okay. Now, because this is an even degree, when we go to the left, it's also going to have the same end behavior as the right. So it's going to go down towards negative infinity. So when it's even, they're either going to both go down or both go up. But the leading coefficient, if it's negative, that tells you about the right end behavior. Negative means it's going down to negative infinity. If this is positive, it would tell you it's going up to positive infinity. Now, if it's an odd degree, the left and right end behavior, they're going to be opposite. They're going to be going opposite directions. Now, if you forget all of that, which sometimes it's easy to do, is just do a little uh, test. Just say, let's say x is 10, for example. 10 to the fourth power is 10,000 times negative 3 is negative 30,000. So when I go over here to x is 10, I'm way down here at negative 30,000. This term is growing much faster than these two terms, so I can effectively ignore these and just focus on this term because it's growing the fastest. So that's how I know it's going down to the right. Now, if I put in a negative 10, a negative 2 in even power is going to be positive. So negative 10 to the fourth is still positive 10,000 times negative 3 is negative 30,000. So I know that it's going down to the left. But what we want to talk about now is how do we write this in the limit notation? So the limit as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches blank. Now what this means is as x is going to negative infinity, as I'm going to the left, what happens to f of x? f of x are the y values, and you can see the y values are going down to negative infinity. If we do the limit as x approaches positive infinity, meaning as we go to the right, f of x is going to approach uh, negative infinity as well because it's going down. So this is the notation. Now, if you notice, you've got LIM, which is just uh, an abbreviation for limit, and we have as a subscript a little bit below the line, like submarine, right, below the water. X approaches negative infinity, and then at the same level as the, the limit here, uh, we've got the f of x, which represents the y values, and we have this arrow telling us whether it's approaching a positive infinity or negative infinity. Okay, let's do the next example. I think you've got the idea here. So in this one, we can see that the leading coefficient's positive, so as we go to the right, this is going to go up to positive infinity. We have an odd degree, so as we go to the left, it's going to go the opposite direction, like so. But to write the notation in limit notation, we have the limit as x approaches negative infinity. That means as we're going to the left, the y values, f of x, approach negative infinity. They're going down to negative infinity. And then the limit as x approaches positive infinity, meaning as we're going to the right on the x-axis, the y values, f of x, right, approach. It's going up towards positive infinity. So that's the idea here, how to describe the end behavior using limit notation. Hope that helped you understand it a lot better. Subscribe to the channel. Check out some of the, my other videos on Mario's Math Tutor YouTube channel, and I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.